Okay, uh, this is going to be an episode of uh, the Executive Shed. I'll kind of walk you through a quick what we've done so far. First off, we uh, there was a deck that came out here that was built in the 80s, and it was it had done its duty, so it was time to get rid of that. So we kept trying to figure out should we build a new deck? Very expensive. Should we pour concrete? What should we do? So we decided we're going to go ahead and pour concrete. We know it's going to crack a little bit. Uh, you know, that's kind of the way it goes. So this concrete is 18 by 18. And we had that done by a professional company, of course. And then Tough Shed came in and built this shed. It's 8 by 10 on the outside. I think it's 8 by 12. Is it, it's 8 by 12. Okay, I think that's so. corrected, 8 by 12. And uh, they, they came and built this. Unfortunately, oh, it's 2 by 6 construction. Uh, it's really a heavy shed. It's pretty nice. Uh, one problem is they didn't have a 2 by 6 French door, so they put in a 2 by 4. But they're going to come down, come over and fix that hopefully soon. So. We started with electrical, and this feed was here because they had a hot tub. So what we did, we went ahead and pulled out the 50 amp circuit, and I put in two 20 amp circuits and one 15 amp circuit. Uh, one is one circuit's dedicated to the heater; uh, the other ones are for the outlets in the house the shed and then it, the, the 15 amp is just for the lights so we have further expansion if we decide we want to change things but we won't need to so the conduit runs along the along the house there and then we continued it down buried it brought it up right there into the shed and then uh, Jake wanted an Ethernet connection, so we ran that from the crawl space in the house, underground, and brought it up there. And then one of the hard parts about the whole thing is, of course, the sprinkler system came through our workspace, so we had to move that. So we did that, too. So it turned out to be a lot of dinging around. So then we came into the shed. And we insulated it with a two by six uh, fiberglass batting. Uh, we installed a air conditioner right there. And then we put an electric heater in there. And we're hoping that's enough to enough to heat the space, uh, you know, even on the coldest day. We'll see how that goes. And then we've got a couple of outlets over here. We've got the Ethernet connection right there. Uh, he's, we're still not done. He's, that's where he's going to put his desk. And he's got a little storage thing that's going to go below it. And uh, we put in this really nice $27 dimmer. You can point it at the place. So that can dim the lights on and off and then we sheetrocked and it came, all in all it came out pretty good I'm not really a good sheetrock finisher at all but uh, I can fumble through it it takes me twice the time but I don't get as good a job as the pros but I can get it done and we caulked in the windows kind of pretty and now we're going to do the floor we're getting close to the end, and the floor is going to be a vinyl snap together floor, and that's right off here. You want to bring a piece in? Sure. I've never used this stuff. It looks pretty easy, it's pretty flexible, and apparently you just cut it with a utility knife and snap it. So it should go pretty quick. This is only 900 square feet. 
for the shed. That's on, I think it's a lot less than 900. Yeah, it could be less than 900. So... I think it's 96. Oh, 96, yeah, I, I added a zero. Um, and I still gotta put the faceplate on the heater. And... I mean, we're getting pretty close to the end here. So that's what I call the executive shed. What What are you going to do with that cord off of the heater? Yeah, uh, uh, air conditioner. Oh, the air conditioner. Yeah, plug it in over there. Oh. Okay. And then we'll coil it up. I don't know what we're going to do with it. Okay. It'll be fine. We'll probably have a chair there. So he's going to have his desk. He's going to have an easy chair over here. He's talking about putting a futon in here. Probably not. Uh, this wall here. Is going to be for uh, for doing videos, and I'll see how that looks. Yeah, that looks nice. I like yeah. it. So he wanted a clean wall to make videos because he's trying to become a YouTuber, which is what everybody wants to do now. Uh, it went pretty good. It took quite a while, but uh, it was a lot of fun. Except sanding that damn sheetrock. That sucks. And that's, uh, that's our episode of this executive shed. And um, for all the Brothertons, we will see you soon. Bye.